Now I'm going to demonstrate the MSR three-point lumbar transverso spinalis protocol. Before I start though, what you'd like to do is make sure you describe the motions uh, to your patient here. So we're just going to practice a few moves that we're going to use. First off, you're going to bring the leg forward and then slowly down, while at the same time bringing the arm back this way. Okay, so let's just practice that a couple times. So bringing the leg forward and down, arm back, and hold the end ranges. Perfect, nice. Okay, now second move we'll be using is similar with the arm, but we're changing the leg motion. We're just gonna bring the hip into flexion and the arm back, exactly. Okay. okay. So once you've demonstrated that, explained it to the patient, then you're going to come back and palpate the uh, transversal spinalis muscles here in the lumbar region. So, you know, between the TP and SP, the fiber orientation of the muscles, uh, composed primarily of multifidus, rotator, and semispinalis, are similar to a Christmas tree. So if you picture the Christmas tree as it, you know, the, the pine needle uh, orientation as it goes all the way up the tree, it kind of stacks this way. So what we're going to do is use a nice flat contact, and my line of drive is going to be from lateral to medial. So that's the direction I'm going into. When I do perform the treatment, I'm going to reinforce my thumb contact with my other thumb. One thing I should mention is, depending on your hand dominance or, or just comfort, feel free to use either hand. Just make sure that you're reinforcing your contact and that your treatment vectors are correct. So what we're going to do is, we're gonna have uh, Mickey start with a motion now. So you're slowly bringing that leg forward and arm back. And my line of drive is that way. I'm gonna reinforce. Make sure it's comfortable, doing yeah. okay? Yeah. And come back. So you're going to do that about three to five times. You know, palpating, and once you've kind of identified a restriction, you're going to hold that end range to make sure you release it. Good. Nice. Let's just do one more here. So once again, I'm going lateral, medial, and superior. There we go. Doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, that one feels kind of tight. Yep. Hold that end range. Great. Now, once we've identified an area that, that's quite restricted, we're going to want to treat across the fiber orientation. And this is where we're going to incorporate that second motion. So the difference here being your tissue tension is going to be superior. Okay, so we're going superior, and then you're just flexing the hip and bringing the arm back. Perfect. Hold that end range. Good. That back. So you probably want to work that restriction, you know, three to five times. Let's do one more. Now, once you've done this in the, the superior direction, we're going to work across the fiber orientation, but in an inferior. So for me, I'm going to switch my hand here. And now my tissue tension is inferior. I will reinforce it with my thumb. So I have Mickey perform the motion again. Nice, and back. So that way you're making sure you're working across the fiber orientation. There we go, you feel a release yeah, on that one. Yeah. yeah. And just hold that end range. Great, and back. So just a really effective way to release that transversospinalis transversal area. 